Hello and welcome to North Star Stamper. I'm Sue Creamer. Let me see if I can get that video a little better for you. Eh, hold on just a second. Nope, I'm just going to have to work up here. So welcome to North Star Stamper. I'm Sue Kramer. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Minnesota. If you are looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, check me out. I'm at NorthStarStamper.com. You can sign up for my newsletter there. Um, obviously, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Pinterest. So hopefully you can find me where you are online. So today we're talking talking punches. If you've watched many of my videos, you know that this is my favorite punch. It's the tailored tag, and I can't believe I haven't labeled this one yet. So we're talking about expanding and layering your punches. So what I did was I measured from here to here, and I found that that was two and one quarter inches. So I just label that I am a lefty. So I label that with a permanent marker. My memory is not as good as it used to be, so I find it easiest just to label them. So what we can do, now that I know that's two and a quarter, I have a piece of cardstock that's two and a quarter inches wide. So we can use our lay, our punch to create ends like that. If we go the other way, so put it in through the side. No, wait, sorry, wrong way. Put it in this way. And then before I close it, I'm lining it up here and here so I know we'll be straight. And you can get a nice banner end. So try this with all your punches. Try it with different widths of cardstock. I can do it with, now that I know it's two and a quarter, if I take a two inch piece and center it between here and here, I can do the same. Oop. So you can add lots of different um things to your projects. Again, here's a piece that's one and three quarters. Uh, we'll be consistent. <laughs> we can do the point end, if I can get it in there. So you just want to feed your cardstock in between those layers where you know it's going to punch. And I'm going to center it between here and here. That's pretty close. And then I can do the top side too. Lots of options. Of course, I can go narrower. I can't go any wider than two and a quarter on this punch, but try your Stampin' Up! punches. Try your non-Stampin' Up! punches. Try your current punches. Try your retired punches. There's so many options. So that is, um, obviously, this could be much longer. This could be, you know, eight inches long or whatever. So that's one way to expand your punches. So now we're going to talk about layering them. And this, if you've watched my videos, you've seen me do. So I'm going to punch three of these. I have white, red, and black. And then I'm going to cut my red one and my black one. I'm just cutting it in half and just eyeballing it. Not, not so important that you're exact. And then I'm going to take my liquid glue. Oh, that's way too much. So we're going to take some off. Let's see here, with the black piece. And I'm going to layer it. You can see where this is going. I'm going to put a little bit on here. Clean that up. I'll just do this with this one, but you could do this with any punch. Oh, I did that wrong. Well, you get the idea. I'm just going to make a mess here. So then I'd put a little bit of adhesive here, a little bit of adhesive there. Normally, I would have stamped on that white piece before I punched it so that I know whatever I stamped would be centered. Oh my goodness, I'm just having an issue. Now my hands are all sticky. Oh, but I want you to see the effect and use whatever. I would take my time and make that center it better. Oh goodness, see, cardstock sticking to my fingers now. But you get the idea. So you can do that with any punch. Just cut multiple layers and then 
punch multiple layers, cut them in half, and then um, adhere them. So there's another option. You can do that first extending trick with any punch. This is our Label Me Fancy, I believe. And I ha already have it marked that it's one and an eighth. So I'd like to make it my cardstock a little less than that so that I know it's going to fit into. And then I'm going to do both ends. And then I have a piece for a nice long sentiment that's longer than my original punch. Don't forget, this is the last one I'm going to do today. Um, this is one and three quarters, so I have a piece of cardstock that's a little less than one and three quarters, um, probably about an eighth inch less. I find it actually easiest to go in from this side and then pull it up and punch. I can do that again, put in the one I've already punched and pull it through. And I could make this as long or as short as I want. Oh, look at this. Another happy little accident, as Bob Ross, the painter, would say. And you can label, layer them. So there's some ideas for your punches. Get your punches out. Practice on um, junk mail, just so you can learn what your punches can do for you. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping. Next week, we'll talk about double punching. So hope to hope you join me next Wednesday as well. Bye.